Steve Kerr warned that last night was, quote, not a one-off, this is the reality. And Draymond, who last night suffered an elbow injury the Warriors will need to keep watching, well, here's what he had to say post-game. I'm not a moral victory type of guy. I'm not leaving this game looking for something to build off on. We sucked. And we gotta get better. I'm not I'm not a coach, so I'm not about to go watch a film and say, oh well we can build on this. I really don't give a about what we can build on. We suck tonight and we gotta get better overall. And that's just what it is. Look, the Warriors will surely get better than they looked last night. And Clay could be right. They certainly could win another title sometime in the next five to six years. But honestly, if they do, we will treat it as a whole separate thing. Last night underscored that the Warriors era that we just completed, that is finished. That was the era where Golden State was not just one of the most dominant teams in the league, but in league history, a team that shifted the entire style of the way basketball was played, and a team that helped the NBA as a whole jostle its way further to the front of the pack in the American sports landscape. Now it's a new franchise's turn to step to the front, maybe even the team that the Warriors tormented all those years. Scotty, should Warriors fans exercise pain or patience after that that they saw last night? Well, they've had a lot of thrills over the last five years, so I think they can show a little bit of patience right now. Um, you know, losing KD, huge loss, but you have to be patient and allow Clay to heal. And you're going to go through some pains of watching Steph out there work hard. Uh, it's going to be a tough regular season for him. We watched last night's game, how hard it was, how difficult it was, how much Clay had to run just to get a shot off. Steph, yeah. And, you know, the, the uh, Clippers are. They're a defensive team, and you know they're they're not a prime example of what they're going to see night in and night out. But you're really seeing how hard it's going to be for Steph Curry to score, and they they need scoring bad. Uh, just listen to Steve Kerr what he said. Mm -hmm. He's been warning about this not just during the preseason, which he said we can't rebound and we can't defend. Mm -hmm. He was warning that bell too, but even over the last few years, where he said this is not reality, what we're experiencing here is something that you don't get to do. And, that, and Steve Kerr is an ultimate winner. Yes. He's got a handful of rings. He knows. And he knew that someday it was going to end. He didn't know it was going to end dramatically like this with these terrible injuries. But they knew this was coming. It's just going to be very difficult. And Rachel, you and I have been around teams that have these sudden changes. Mm -hmm. A year ago, it was the Cavs. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing the Cavs early in the season last year, and it was like, we've just played for the title four years in a row, and now we're rebuilding. I remember the Heat when LeBron left. I remember the Cavs before that. Heck, the Bulls. When you guys all left and said goodbye, and Phil and Scotty and Michael, and they were all goodbye, like, down they go. This is a natural order of things, but it doesn't, just because you know it doesn't make it any easier, and this is going to be that kind of season. I do think it's different. The only one I would compare it to of those examples you just listed off was Scotty's example, because when Scotty and Michael and Phil, when you guys all left Chicago, that was a historic run. That was just an unbelievable eight years that changed basketball. It changed basketball in the NBA's position in the sports landscape. It changed the way athletes endorsed products. You guys, it was bigger than the sport, and that ended. And in a way, that is what we saw with the Warriors. This was an era-defining team. It's what we will think about when we think about sports in the NBA in this part of the decade. And they made changes outside of the sport itself. And it just, in three weeks between Clay getting hurt, Kevin leaving, them losing the way that they did, it's just all changed now. When you guys left, what did you hear back from people in Chicago or the organization, what it was like for them? Well, it was never anything good, and probably <laughs> still to this day. But, uh, you know, everyone really appreciate the run that, that we, we had. And we as players, we appreciate it. And we wanted it to never end. But, you know, when those things do end, it's really the fans that have to make the biggest adjustments because they have to get used to watching bad play. They have to get used to watching different players. And um, it's, it's a huge adjustment for them. And like Steve said, it's reality as to what the fans will be seeing night in and night out from the Golden State Warriors. Uh, you're going to see Steph Curry working hard, picking himself up off the floor because they don't have that comfort zone anymore of three great shooters on the floor. That's some great spacing. When you talk about three of the greatest players in the history of, of the game, mm -hmm. when you lose that, uh, you know, it's like they're, they're playing in a little bubble right now. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.